The people who are protesting on Wall Street um, are upset about economic injustice, and they should be. And there are, different people have different levels of understanding about how our system works. Some people are just upset that the banks got all the money and they're not giving the money to them now and loaning the money. And there's an element of, yes, that our, in our economic system, in our monetary system, money is debt. So the way we get money is by borrowing it. Okay, that's the way we're taught. The government doesn't produce money anymore. The Federal Reserve loans money to banks and they loan money to people. So all money has an interest attached to it. Okay, all money in our society, aside of nickels and dimes and quarters that the mint still print, uh, cranks out, has an interest attached to it. So everybody's in the negative to start with. Okay? Now it doesn't have to be that way. Now most people who are protesting on Wall Street don't understand that. They just know that banks got a lot of money from somewhere. Many of them think the government gave them the money, which is actually not what happened. Okay? And then the banks don't want to lend it. They don't want to lend it because the times are you know, iffy and we don't want to loan money. We just ruined our whole economy. Now let's just hold it and invest it in other places and overseas and all this stuff. And that's exactly what's happening. So it's the worst of all possible systems we can have. Absolutely the worst. The dumbest of all possible systems. Okay. The first thing to realize is that, yes, uh, the banks are a problem, but the banks are part of a bigger problem. They are part of a monetary system where a private monopoly of banks called the Federal Reserve controls the production of money in our society. It's not the government. We don't have U.S. government treasury notes. We don't have those. We don't have money that's, that's credit. All our money is borrowed into existence. So until the Federal Reserve, which is a private cartel of banks that runs our monetary system, is brought under the Department of Treasury of the federal government, we're going to have private interest determining our monetary policy, period. There's a bill sponsored by Dennis Kucinich and John Conyers, H.R. Uh, 2990, I think is the number, which first point, the first requirement is to bring the Federal Reserve under the Department of Treasury. So the federal government, Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution, allows Congress to create money. It can, it can print money. It allows it. It empowers it to. It empowers it to. It doesn't, in a sense, it doesn't even allow it. It's expected that it would. 